the mission of Mundelein Seminary is to train good, holy, dedicated priests for uh, the church. And we uh, train people not just for the Archdiocese of Chicago, but for dioceses all over the country and indeed around the world. So the mission is, um, is the mission of any seminary. It's to produce good and holy priests. I think Mundelein's uniqueness in some ways is how um, broad the outreach is, that we're training people from really all over the world, is to produce priests in the spirit of, um, of the Lord, who are going to operate now in the very person of Christ. Just being able to hear the professors, how they not only give us a theory of history and, you know, systematic theology and uh, the different uh, developments within, you know, the church, uh, but they also kind of placed uh, real life into it by, by um, showing how that theological knowledge, you know, is essential to be a good priest and be available for the people uh, when they come for questions, you know, when they come with their issues. Uh, that tradition now can be applied to their lives. You know, I'm looking for people who are smart, who are articulate, who have a deep prayerful spirit, who have a heart for the poor. I'm also looking for people, if I can put it this way, who like sinners. And here's what I mean, is a priest is sent out with his intelligence, with his prayerfulness, with his good heart, is sent out to the lost sheep. We're, we're all sinners. I want someone who has a heart for sinners, who says, I like spending time with sinners. Not someone that loves sin, that's a different thing, but who does love sinners. My goal is to be a normal guy, uh, trying to do a you know, good thing in the world, uh, trying to be able to provide for people some sense of uh, approachability, that they know that they can count on me in terms of uh, hearing them, hearing their struggles, the different questions they might have, uh, and just restoring that sense of hope for people. My recruitment efforts are often in regard to bishops. So as rector of the seminary, I will go and talk to bishops and say, you know, could you send people here? Would you consider sending students for the first time to Mundelein? Um, so I can do recruitment at that level. But every bishop has a vocation director who is, you know, kind of beating the bushes trying to find people. And then they will send people to us um, for our admissions process. I started thinking about the priesthood in high school. I went away to the college. I went to University of Illinois in Champaign-Urbana. I actually dated there for a while. Priesthood kind of got put on the back burner, but I was still very involved in my faith. I would go to Mass often and pray. And By the end of it all, uh, I was actually in a pretty strong relationship and realized, though, that my heart was being tugged still toward the priesthood. So uh, I decided to kind of investigate it and and here we are today, <laughs> six years later. So Coming from Poland was part of me, this is who I was. Uh, but now, coming to a new country, new place, uh, this was a new beginning for me. So the Archdiocese of Chicago, uh, in a sense, exposed me to a whole different sense of the church. It's, it's, a, it's a huge reality that encompasses people of all, all walks of life and struggling with differ, different issues, different uh, problems in their life. Uh, and just being exposed to that, seeing how God is working in, in these people and uh, seeing how God is also working in my life, I was able to, to realize that you know, God has a big plan for me. As he, he got, he's got a great plan for these people. Uh, it's just a matter of now opening it and seeing what He has in store for me. By the time someone's gotten here, they've already gone through a lot of um, screening. They've been screened you know, psychologically, they've been interviewed by all sorts of people, the vocation director himself and the bishop. Have, um, have approved their coming. But then we have, even after all that's going on, we have a pretty elaborate process ourselves. We bring them through three separate admission boards, one formational, one academic, and one administrative. So typically nine people in a given evening will interview a prospective candidate. Then I as rector receive reports from all those uh, faculty and then um, make a judgment finally on acceptance. So Mundelein is, is pretty uh, strict. Even after the first screening has happened at the diocesan level, we do our own pretty elaborate screening. It is challenging, but not impossible. And I think much more, much different than, um, than other types of vocational schools. It's not competitive in that sense. So people, you're not being weeded out. People aren't trying to do one-up you. You know, everyone wants you to succeed. 
there's a great level of support for everyone and you feel that and you know that. You know, I think what it creates after years of formation, it gives you a holistic sense of our tradition, it gives you a holistic sense of the scriptures themselves, uh, and, and you're able to, to internalize it and apply it to the real world situations that occur all around us. I've railed for years against what I call a dumbed-down Catholicism. Uh, my generation got that after the Council, um, a very superficial, childish presentation of the Catholic faith, and it was a pastoral disaster of the First Order, because a lot of people my generation left when they grew up and life hit them in the face, and this flattened out, childish uh, banners and balloons Catholicism didn't serve them. Well, we've got this richly textured intellectual tradition, and I want our guys to know it well. I want them to be smart, articulate uh, spokespeople for the Catholic faith. All the documents of the church say that the people at the seminary should be the best and brightest in the church. People who are associated with the seminary should be the, the best priests that bishops have, so they can then be models to the uh, young guys. And I think that's, uh, that's true of our place. Mm -hmm.